Jyoti. You all right? Come on, we're getting off. It's pitch black now. Is that why you peed on your shoe? Oh. So, come on. What has Caleb done? I mean, really? I thought going for a pee was going to put an end to this conversation. Because he got Kyle out of the cling. <sighs> he shelled out for all his legal doodars. Yeah, but why? Maybe because he's just a nice uncle. <sighs> you won't trust Mother Teresa, would you? And we all know whose fault that is. I mean, what's it saying to Kyle? You hating on your brother. Because what if, shock horror, Caleb turns out to be a decent guy? He's not. What, like Faith's a really terrible mum? Because you misjudged that for years, didn't you? You wouldn't hear her side of the story. You almost left it too late. Don't let history repeat itself. Don't shut Caleb out just because you're terrified and let you down. He will. Or he won't. Talk to him. Or don't. But you can't stop Chaz or Kyle or anyone else for that matter. Keys. Because you know what will happen? You will just end up lonely old Kane, hermit up at Butler's farm. And then do you know what? That is how the Shadrachs and the Bales of this world win. By making us hate ourselves. And we can't let that happen, OK? We can't let that happen. Hey. You all right? I'm starving, actually. Open show and you go. Oh, oh, I swear, burgers just keep getting better. You used to live off them. <laughs> oh, you can do that when you're a kid. Live fast, die young. Look at us now, eh? Look at us now. Hey, come on. Gonna be all right, him up it. No, I know. I know. Right. You can bend that, yeah? OK, I'm going to walk from here. Thank you. Yeah, work out, yeah. Hey, how are you doing? It's all cooking for you, have you? Yeah, I'm good. Um, listen, Ryan, I know that you wanted to stay there a bit longer, but I um, could really do with chatting to you about something. No, I know I'm chatting to you now. I actually mean in person. No, there's nothing wrong, and I haven't been nicked, thank you very much. I just... It has to be in person. Right, fine, well... I didn't want to have to be doing this over the phone, but there's something you need to know, OK? Uh, Mark Bales is dead. Mm-hmm. Uh, heart attack. <laughs> yeah, I just I wanted to tell you, cos I don't want you finding out from anyone else, OK? I wish I was there to give you a hug. Are you OK? Uh, me? No, I'm, I'm cool. I'm fine. It's probably going to take some time for it to sink in, all right? So do whatever you need to do. You have a rant or a cry or a beer or get drunk. Just whatever you need, all right? I'll speak to you soon. Bye. How 
started for Ayn Sand. Going to be one of those things that probably hits him at two in the morning. And you'll be there to listen. Because that's the type of mum you are. You need to stop with this being adorable thing. I'm not used to it. A bit alien to me. <laughs> Certainly wasn't adorable when I first found out that Ryan was Bale's kid. I well kicked off. No, I know you did. And then you got your head around it and you said sorry. And let's not forget, that dead copper was the evil one, all right, not us. Makes me sad that you had to go through that. Stuff the bad things that have happened. Got the best thing in the world out of it, didn't I? I've got another kid. I've got Ryan. I don't actually know what I'd do without you, like... I love you all so much. <laughs> and do you know what? In the end, we won, didn't we? We won. <laughs> Stole Caleb's car earlier. Oh, beauty. Do you think Caleb's found out yet? Cos... PC product not, does he? Maybe Kane's talked him round. Kane? Yeah, I dragged him with me for the ride. Why not Mark? Well, I don't know, he serves other purposes, doesn't he? Well, he's always bang up for something dodgy. Well, not this time. Hang on. Have you ever told him about Bales? Well, he knows that Ryan exists, you know. Knows the bare bones of it. Don't you think he could handle knowing it all? You kidding? With everything I've chucked at him already? No, he's the most solid bloke I've ever met. Did I just admit that? So why would you freeze him out? Because that would involve talking, wouldn't it? Explaining, letting him in. Easy just to do something crazy and run. But if Mackenzie's that good, He'll understand. Yeah, I know. Cos you're right, actually. First time in my life I've got a man I can depend on. Make that too. Wow, total first. <laughs>